so the test of efficiency efficiency determination by hopkinson test conducted on dc shunt motor so here we are conducting the dc shunt motor on two identical machine one is running as a motor and the another one is running as a generator so actually the hopkinson test or the regenerative test it is known as a regenerative test because here we are using the generator which is going to supply the motor hence it is known as a dc shunt uh, generator by hopkinson test efficiency determination so this uh, rheostat is not here because we are controlling the dc voltage supply voltage directly we are not giving 220 volts we are giving in steps by voltage control method nothing but we have the voltage control knob here so we are not using the rheostat here this motor is going to run as a motor it is having a rated current armature rated current is 10 ampere Armature rated current is 10 ampere and the excitation current is 0.9. Excitation current is 0.9. And this motor, this motor is going to run as a generator. And it is also same. It is having armature current of 10 amperes and the excitation current of 0.9 amperes. So we have the voltage control knob here, so through this we are going to give the supply. This is going to act as a motor and this is going to act as a generator. And the correction is made as per the, it is required for the Hopkinson test. So now we shall put on the supply. This is the rectifier unit and uh, this is the voltage control knob which we are using for providing the supply to the DC motor. So let's start. So supply is being given. So this reads the supply voltage and the respective RPM. So first motor is made to run to its rated speed. So this is around 120 volts. So it is around 220 volts, that is the rated uh, voltage and uh, to make the rated speed we need to vary the motor field, so motor field small, very slightly we need to vary it, so now it is near to the 1500 rpm, 1500 rpm, so it is very much near to the 1500 rpm. And again we need to see here the voltage uh, from the motor and the generator unit. It is around somewhat uh, 120 volts extra is there. So we need to reduce it and it we need to make it as zero. So we need to reduce this and to make it zero. So this can be done by varying the motor field or the generator field. Always generator field will be in the cut-in position and motor field will be in the so we are varying this and we need to observe the voltage so that it is going to become zero. So now it is 
zero. So now it is zero. So when it is going to zero, we can close the switch. So this switch is been closed. And then we need to uh, make the generator so that it is going to supply full its related current to the motor. So this can be achieved by varying the motor field so that when you are going to cut out it, so that uh, current is going to be increased and it is going to supply the motor. So now we can see that when while uh, cutting out the rear side of the field, uh, field rear side of the generator, the current of the generator is going to be increased. current of the generator is going to be increased. So the rated current has to be achieved and this has been achieved either by under exciting or over exciting the field constant of motor and the generator. So while doing this we need to take care of that uh, so that the field current should not go below 0.5 because it is the flux which is going to increase the speed. If it is going to be reduced then speed of the motor is going to be increased. So we are to keep in mind that it should not go below 0.5. So now see the uh, generated voltage. It is around 8 ampere. It is around 8 ampere. And uh, motor field is within permissible limit 0.5. And now we need to take down the current I1. It is uh, 3.8 I2. It is nearly 8 amperes, nearly 8 amperes and I3, it is around 0 0.6, 0 0.6 amperes, field current of motor, 0 0.6 amperes, field current of generator, it is around 0 0.8 amperes, field current of generator, it is around 0 0.8 amperes. So this much is uh, enough and we need to take down the armature resistance of the motor and it has been taken after the disconnecting the supply and now we need to reduce it to the zero in the reverse fashion which we have come till now so that uh, the motor field is brought to its original position and then the motor generator current is made zero so after that switch is been made off Generator field draw start has been kept to its original position. And then reduce the supply voltage and switch off the supply. So after that we need to take down the armature resistance of the motor. So to calculate the efficiency of the DC shunt machine by Hopkinson test, we need the so that we need to take the resistance of armature to calculate the efficiency of Hopkinson. So it is around 0 0.7, oh sorry 1.7 and with this we can calculate the efficiency.